All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm glad you showed up when you did. So, you know, I like bags. I am what I would consider a bag whore. That's right, that's a real thing, bag whore. This is guys or girls who just love bags. All different sizes, shapes, colors, types, everything else. Everything you own has to have a specific case or pouch or bag, right? <laughs> I got a problem, I know. But I've never been like a man bag type of guy or a merch type of guy. I've always had like a backpack or some type of like messenger or something like that. A real messenger, not like a merch man bag kind of thing. But you know what, man? It, the time has come. And before you start making fun of people, you know, dudes walking around with man bags, you know what's more embarrassing than, you know, the dude getting laughed at for wearing a man bag? It's the dude getting his ass whooped by the dude wearing the mask, uh, the man bag. So <laughs> let that be known. So check this out, man. I don't know who makes this bag. It's actually a generic company. And the reason I found it was because I was on Instagram and for some reason they were showing this sling bag on a guy. And I was like, man, that's a cool looking bag. It's nice and stealthy. And it's like called stealth bag or something like that. Stealth sling. So I go on Instagram, I click, it's like 50 bucks. I was like, that is not worth $50. So I just kind of looked on Amazon for sling bags that were, you know, what I thought would be affordable. I ended up finding a ton of these, okay? And I forget the name of the, the manufacturer. What is this? Uh, I can, it's like Oso, Oso? I don't, I don't know what it is. I'll put it in the description, man. But this bag is damn near perfect for everything I want and need. So it's actually pretty small. You can see my hands aren't really that big, but they are, you know, kind of plus size. But this bag is like, it's it's just over a hand size and it, it rests on your on your side. Now, some companies do make left and right versions. Uh, most of them make a left version because I guess most people are right-handed. So you can kind of just reach in there like that. But man, let me just tell you all about this bag. I will start with the strap itself. Look at that. Okay. So it's, um, this isn't like cloth cloth. It's like some kind of, it's almost like backpack material. It's something you find in a backpack. So it, it will kind of beat off water a little bit. I don't think it's waterproof or resistant. Uh, maybe the inside is because I'm hearing that, that material, but uh, I wouldn't try to soak this or anything, but it is a uh, kind of a water repelling material. You got a little uh, strap right here that's got some reflective material. You can slide your sunglasses or some kind of clip in there if you want to as you're walking. It does come off right here. So you can unstrap it if uh, you don't just want to take it over your head. You can just kind of unstrap it from the front. And let me put that back in there. And it just comes off as easy as that. But as you kind of work your way around, you see that stitching right there. It just adds to some flare, you know, just so it doesn't look like a plain strap. But then you get to the back and that's where you got your adjustment buckle. And it does adjust to where you can actually bring it down. I don't know, maybe just below your, your jean pocket. But I like to keep mine up around my waist and hip area or upper hip area. That way I can just kind of reach in there real fast. The other side does not come apart. It's all it's just permanently attached to the bag. For some people, that might be something bad, but I don't see any qualms about it. But let's get to the real thing right here. This is the bag. All right, get in here just a little bit closer, man. It's got one, two, three, four pockets, okay? And I'm gonna show you what you can put in this thing because as I've gotten older, I realize, especially like with COVID and stuff like that, I have more and more stuff to take around. I got keys, I got a wallet, I got this big ass phone that I walk around with, I got earbuds, I always need lotion because I'm black and I'm ashy. Uh, I, got, <laughs> I gotta have a comb because of my beard. Uh, what else do I need? You need the mask, right? Uh, what else? There's always something, right? But we'll figure it out once we get into my bag, see what I've been carrying around. Because this is an EDC bag. It's an everyday carry bag. Open this bad boy. See how smooth that is? That's smooth and slick, baby. So you open that up. In this pocket, man, I touched my glasses, damn it. Uh, so this is where I keep my shades right there, you know, just for quick access, because, you know, you pull them off, you want to do this. I broke some lenses on. These particular, uh, these particular glasses, I put them right here and went into the store. I leaned over to get something. They slid off. And this is actual, like, this is, these are Ray-Bans. I guess they're actual glass. I don't know. <laughs> they broke. They shattered. So this will keep me from breaking my glasses again. And then, let's see here. You got your wallet. Let me put that right there. And that's all I keep in that pocket because I keep my glasses in there. I don't want them rubbing up against a whole bunch of stuff. And then in this pocket right here, you got, this is where I keep all my goodies, man. This is the keys right there. Uh, that's some stuff I use for energy. Keep me going through the day. What else we got in here? We got that chapstick. 
Got these big lips, these big soup coolers, man. You gotta keep them moist. You got to moisten your stuff, man. Then you got some hand sanitizer. I forgot about the sanitizer, man. Yeah, COVID, okay? And then you got you know, the comb for the beard. Gotta keep that beard nice and sexy because once I put that mask on, take it off, my beard's all, you know how you got hat head when you got hair? I'll have like mask beard, you know? So you don't want the beard, the beard mask or the mask beard. That's it for that pocket. I'm not a heavy packer. It's just these are daily essentials, man. And then in this larger pocket right here, which is going to be really cool for a lot of different people. And I'll tell you why in a second. Keep my mask right there for easy access. And then I got like a Leatherman or a multi-tool. I usually did not carry this around, but for the purpose of this video and because I can now, I, I walk around with this just because I'm always needing a screwdriver or a knife or something. So it's good to have that. This pocket is actually empty now, but in this particular bag, it's actually uh, partitioned. You've got a small partition right here where it's like, um, I don't know, you can put, let me see here. You can definitely put uh, this thing right here, this little thing for the hand sanitizer right there. It probably won't stay if you start leaning around or probably slide out, but at least it has a little extra compartment in this big pouch right here because it does go the whole size of the bag. So that's all, wait, there's something else in here. What is this? What did I put in here? Oh, my phone, I forgot about the phone uh, pouch. So right here, you got a phone pouch. This is magnetized, okay? It's not like a snap button, it's magnetized. And so far it, ha it has held up really well. This is like a, just a, a vinyl strap. It looks like leather, but it's, it's like pleather. Just lift that up, slide your big ass phone out, man. This is a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It's like one of the biggest phones on the market. You put in this bad boy in your front pocket and it just, it makes you look like a doofus, man. Walking around with this big square rectangle thing in your pocket. You put it in your back pocket, mess around and sit on it. And that's where I was actually keeping my phone before. I would sit on it a lot. And you know, I'm 240, man. You can't be sitting on your on your thousand dollar phone, especially if you ain't got no case. So this is nice to just be able to slide in there. And as you can see, it's completely gone. Like it's gone. And you just put that in there and it doesn't come out. It's nice and secure. As long as you're not like wrestling with people or nothing like that. So the thing I like about this bag is that it's, while it's not discreet, it's also discreet. And it, it's, it just rests right there and you can just kind of reach in. And this is what's going to be cool for you uh, conceal and carry people. If you got, you know, a, a, you know, a fair sized pistol or, you know, handgun or something like that, you can put this bad boy right across your body just like that. And, you know, you can just kind of, what's up, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You can have your piece on you without having to wear the holster and stuff like that if you wanted to. That's kind of cool for you, you know, you tactical people out there who like to walk around with your guns feeling like you're hardcore. So this bag, it, it pretty much has taken care of every need I've had for the last week. In fact, I like this bag so much, I actually bought another one. Here, and here's the truth though. I actually bought this. This looks black, but it's actually like a really charcoal gray. This was actually the initial bag that I bought. It's the exact same bag. It's just that I liked it so much. I wanted to wear it with all my outfits. And when I'm wearing, wearing like bright colors, I decided to get this one. So this one actually came in yesterday. This is the one I've been wearing for a week, but both of them, great, fantastic bags, perfect for every occasion for the man and the woman. But you know, I feel like this is more of a, this is more of a man bag who, for a man who doesn't want to do the whole merce thing. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but you got a bunch of stuff. Look at all this stuff, man. I'll be walking around with all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want it filling up your pockets and stuff like that because I don't wear cargo pants. <laughs> Either way, man, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to share this bag with you, man. This, these bags are freaking clutch, man. And I'm going to drop the links in the description and in a pinned comment for you to check them out. Oh, I didn't even tell you, man. These are like 13, 14 bucks, dude. They're selling them on Instagram for like 50. There's some they are like 40, even 30, but you know, hey, if you can find it cheaper, your boy's got you, man. I got you a link in the description. 12 to $15 uh, max for these two bags right here. So that's why I ended up getting 30 or two for 30 and I don't even care about it. Either way, I got to get out of here, go make some more videos. But until I get back, make sure y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?